Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a really good weekend. Um, we are here to do our very first online spelling lesson. So if you are sort pink 14, make sure that you are. This lesson is for you. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to somebody. So, MJ? This is MJ. This is her favorite spot in the house. She likes to sit and guard and make sure that everybody that walks to the park is nice and safe. That's MJ. Okay, back to work. Okay, so this week's spelling focus are digraphs. Digraphs are a combination of two letters put together that create a sound. So, so remember, two letters put together that create a sound. So this week you've got three headings. You've got H as in hand, making the sound. You've got... C as in c cat, and you have the ch as in chair. So out of these three headings, which one do you think is the digraph? Remember, digraphs are two, a, co a combination of two letters put together that create a sound. And if you said that this is the digraph, that would be correct. Because these two combination, or these two letters put together make the ch sound. Where this is just single and it makes k. And this is a single letter, makes h. So, why do you think that the focus is uh, our digraphs? Combination of two letters put together, making a sound. We know that this is the only digraph. So, why do you think that they included this and this one? Why do you think they included those? What do you guys notice? Okay, so hopefully you picked up on that. This is the C, and this has a C, and this is the H. And look, if you were to put them together, that would make the chest sound, right? The digraph. So I think what they're wanting you to know is, um, do you know the difference that H makes by itself? The sound that H makes by itself. The sound that C makes by itself. And then the digraph when you have the C and the H put together. So let's get started. So this is going to be the I do. So I am going to show you um, three of them. So I'm going to first grab this one. Let's grab this one. So I've got ch chimney. And I know that this is a combination of two put together. This has got to be my graph, my digraph. And look, the ch and chair sound is the same as the ch and chimney. So that's kind of how I can check myself. Okay, so let's let me do one more for you, two more for you. I'm going to pick this one. So I just see one consonant at the beginning, and the sound I hear is h, huh, heart hand these two go together They're, they make the same sound see what I'm doing let me pick one more for the I do okay I've got k comb and I have k cat those also make the same sound okay so Hand, heart, k cat, k comb, ch chair, ch chimney. So I've checked myself and they all look good. Okay, so this was me doing it. Now let's do it together. Let's us do it. So go ahead and find um, the card that looks like this. Now, when I first picked this one up, I was thinking it was so cool because we're the Pickle Indians. So I thought maybe all oh, this has to be an Indian. But if you look at our headings, we've got an H, a C, and a CH, and Indian doesn't begin with any of them. So, Chief. This is the Chief. Okay, so hopefully you found your card. And now look at the beginning sound. You've got the digraph, the C and the H. We know that the C and the H, when they're together, they make the CH sound. This is Chief, much like chimney and chair. 
Okay, let's do two more together. Go ahead and find this one. It is a ladies coat. Okay, only one consonant at the beginning and the beginning sound that I hear is k coat, coat, um, comb, comb, cat, coat. Is that what you guys got too? Let's do one more together. Go ahead and find this one. H. Hat. So we do not hear the ch sound. It's not chat, right? There's no C at all. Hand. Hat. Heart. By the way, guys, um, I would start suggesting to go ahead and keep this part whenever you cut, which, by the way, make sure that you always cut nice and neat so that you can read all of the letters and everything that's in there. But I would suggest to start keeping this as well because it gives you a reminder of what you're working on for the week. Okay, so let's start keeping that from now on. That can be like another heading. Okay, so I've done some for you. We've done some together. Now, you are going to do the rest by yourself. So you've got all of these. Please at this point, go ahead and pause the video so that you can try to do them by yourself. And then you can play the video when you are done and you can check yourself with my answers. Okay, go ahead and please pause the video. Okay, so hopefully at this point, you have played the video and you're ready to check yourself. So let's look at the H column. So we had heart and hat already, and then we've got horn, and then we have hook, double O. Okay, at the end. Let's look at the C column. We had gotten already comb and coat. Hopefully you found cake my favorite and cane K cane honestly candy cane could have worked too candy but for this week we'll just focus on cane and now the digraph the ch digraph had a lot more so we had found chimney and chief and then there's chick check this one down here is chin. It's pointing to the man's chin. Uh, cherry. Guys, this is a Y. I just didn't write it write it too well for you. I'm sorry. And then we have got chop. Which, by the way, chop is an example of onomatopoeia because the word chop makes that sound whenever like you're chopping wood or chopping vegetables. Chop, 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 chop. So it's an example of an onomatopoeia. So that's kind of cool. Kind of like a click click or a boom. All of those are also examples of onomatopoeia. But anyway, hopefully you ended up with this. And um, if you have more questions through the week, you can always come back and rewatch this video. Or please ask Miss Armstrong and I for help and we would gladly help you. Remember to study through the week because you've got a spelling test on Friday. Bye, guys. Have a great day.